everybody, Mayor Dan Tolan here. Time for another weekly update. Well, we made it another year. It's Thanksgiving week, which means it's also deer hunting season. So first off, congratulations to all of the spouses I got left at home. And please feel free to insert your own cheer or amen here. It's also been another week of increased activity in COVID-19 cases. As we look at the slides below, you will see that in the first slide, Wisconsin experienced over 3,500 new cases on Sunday for a total of over 379,000 cases. Yesterday, total deaths were at 3,100. The second slide includes case numbers for our two counties. Both counties had about 70 new cases over the weekend. Combined, the counties have reported 40 deaths to date. The governor has extended the current masking order for the next two months. In addition, Pierce County has issued an indoor gathering advisory. Links to both the order and advisory are on the website below. Remember that the counties are asking for your help in contact tracing if you or a family member has tested positive for COVID-19. See our website below for how to do this. Also, if you need to get tested, the website below will also show you links to testing sites in our area. As I mentioned last week, I would like to strongly encourage you to limit your activities this week. Be safe. It's important that you spend the holiday break with household members only and practice all of your COVID safety guidelines. Remember to avoid large indoor gatherings where mask and social distancing cannot be enforced. If you plan to go out, keep groups small and local. Our Chamber of Commerce and Visitors Bureau has a host of upcoming events to get you in the holiday mood. Check them out on the Chamber's Keep the Cheer Here webpage. Some of the things we have are the Downtown Light Ceremony, we have fireworks at the high school, and we also have Santa making a special trip to our town to drive around the neighborhoods, not to mention the fun, exciting things going on throughout the month of December. I hope that everyone will take some time this week to remember all of their blessings and contemplate all you are thankful for. I'll start. I am thankful for my loving wife, Joni, my family, and all of you, a wonderful group of individuals who I know has the best interest of our community at heart. I am thankful for those who are demonstrating their care and respect by taking precautions to help protect our vulnerable neighbors. I am thankful for my health and that of my family and of all of yours too. I know it can change at any time, but I trust that our local health care professionals will do all they can do to make us well again. I am thankful that these professionals come to work every day trying hard to save lives despite the never-ending stream of patients in the uncertainty and despair they must sometimes feel. I am thankful for our school district and all of their employees who have gone the extra mile for our students. And I am thankful for the parents and families who have been able and willing to adapt to new schedules and make so many sacrifices. I am thankful to all of our nonprofits who are shaking all of the trees to get help for community members in need and to those who have donated to worthy causes. I am thankful for our businesses who continue to keep our economy running, even in the worst of circumstances. And I am thankful to be your mayor. Thanks for putting your trust in me. I will continue to do all I can to make our community safe. And know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and that we will get there together. Now, but not least, I want to share our pets of the week. First, we have Bailey. Next are Chewy and Ben. And finally, Max. As always, please do not hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions or concern. My email address is dtoland at rfcity.org. Until next time, please be vigilant, be kind, be thankful, stay healthy, and enjoy a wonderful Thanksgiving. And go Pack Go. Bye now.